Hi, Die the Safe Guy here again. My name is Die Holly, manager of SafeInvolvedStore.com. Today we're going to be talking about deposit safes, all the way from the small standard deposit safe you see here to a double chamber deposit safe with an extra chamber below. And over here, we'll be talking about a deposit safe that you can actually store cash drawers and tills in. But first, let's talk about the construction of a deposit safe. First, you need to look for a safe that has at least a quarter inch thickness in the walls and the body. Second, look for a door that has a minimum of one half inch thick solid steel in the door. Third, make sure you have bolts that are at least one inch in diameter. Fourth, be sure that the safe has on the back side a metal that hooks around on the interior in case somebody tries to cut off the hinges. Some safes will have bolts just like this instead of a solid steel metal plate all the way down. We're looking at a mutual safe here which is a standard front drop safe where you drop your contents here and they fall down into this chamber below here. Notice these jagged edge teeth here. There are actually two sets of them in here to prevent anybody from fishing the money out of the inside of the safe with a thin wire with some stick -em on it. When we're looking at front drop safes, there's also another type of drop safe that has a drum. It actually has a large slot on the top of the safe with a big rotary drum. These are special safes designed for large packages. After you know about the construction and you realize it's the right construction for you, the next thing to consider is the locks. There's two basic kinds of locks. There's a dial combination lock, which is a 200-year-old technology, very reliable, very dependable, perfect if it's a family-owned business or you have employees that you know you can trust. The other type is electronic digital lock. These locks can have anywhere from one to nine combinations. The real advantage of them is that you can change the combination immediately when you have to fire someone or somebody moves on to another job. Another more sophisticated type of lock is an audit trail lock. Ask a professional at safeinvolstore.com about these locks. They can store up to 10 users and you can plug the lock into a laptop with a special software programming cable and you can actually find out who was in your safe at what time and what date in case you end up missing some cash. Now we need to talk about the types of safes. This safe here is about 20 inches tall, 14 inches wide, and 14 inches deep. It has a smaller compartment down here. It's perfect for convenience stores, small point of sale applications, hotel, motels, bars, restaurants, etc., where you only have one register, possibly two. The next type of safe would be a double chambered safe where the money drops in the top here and it's secured under here. This combination will only be accessible to the owners or the top management personnel. The lower chamber down here you can use to put coins, change, other type of currency in where you, the employees need to have access to this but you don't want to risk that much money. So maybe only $250, $300 worth of change or coin in this compartment. The big money is stored safely up here. Another type of deposit safe would be the inside teller drop where you actually drop the cash up here. The big money stays here securely locked behind this teller locker. And the key here is in the possession of the owners or top management. Down in the lower part, here, you can put three to four cash drawers from your registers. This safe is designed for larger point of sale operations, chain operations, where you're going to have multiple tellers. Last but not least, always anchor your deposit safe. Anchor it solidly into four anchor holes, which all deposit safes have, with a concrete expansion anchor. Don't forget to do this because the bad guys will come get your safe and haul it off somewhere else and then break into it. 
Finally, a short word about undercounter safes. For large point of sale applications where you have lots of stations and lots of registers, it's a wise idea to, to purchase a small undercounter safe like this, again with the, the teeth to protect. You put this under the bar, you put it at the stations where the waitresses take the payment for the meals. There's a million applications for these, but what you do is you put your large bills in here, the hundreds, the fifties, the excess twenties, and then your manager goes through during a shift two or three times, grabs this excess cash out of here and puts it in the bigger deposit safe for safe storage. This will really minimize any kind of a hit you take in case in the unlikely event that you get robbed, and it also helps to cut down on internal theft. No matter what size business you have, large or small, it really pays to invest in a deposit safe. They start out as low as $245 plus shipping and handling, and it will protect you from internal and external theft. Give us a call and talk to one of the professionals at safeandballstore.com. We have over 60 years of experience, and we really know safes.